Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining me again for another video, where today I'm showing Jen Halloween 2018. It is a direct sequel to the very first Halloween movie. We've watched Halloween 1 and 2 so far. 2 has been done away with in this continuity. There have been so many different continuities with the Halloween and Michael Myers stuff. This one came out, I really, really enjoyed it, and because of the success of this one, they are making two additional Halloween movies currently. And now those two are supposed to be the very last ones, but we'll see what they end up doing. Jen, what are your thoughts going into Halloween? Halloween 2018. Well, this is, okay, so the first and the second one were in the 60s or the 70s? Well, 70s, 80s, yeah. 70s and 80s, so this is like 40 years later. That makes me a little nervous, because I don't, I just don't have high hopes for that, but I really liked the second one, I actually like the second one better than the first one. And you're saying that this one is pretty decent, which frankly, I'm a little surprised at. I'm excited to see it just for that fact um, that I guess people are saying that it's pretty good. I kind of saw some of the comments and people were saying, you know, this one is pretty decent. So um, I just, I, I want to see what it's about. Jamie Lee Curtis is still there. She's going to be the main uh, protagonist. So still her. I did not expect that. Yep. Is she the only recurrent character? There have been several like additional sequels to Halloween and each of them kind of got cheesier and campier and worse and worse as you would expect once you start getting into like Halloween 5, 6, and 7. So this one um, I think was either directed or, or written or produced by Danny McBride who loves Halloween and so he kind of took it back to those original feelings and they retconned all the other Halloweens. He's like we're gonna do away with all that including Halloween 2. So in this continuity Halloween 2 didn't happen. So it's gonna go Halloween 1 happened and then this is uh, the new sequel. That's kind of weird. We'll see. It's interesting that Jamie Lee Curtis is in this. So. All right, let's get into it. Halloween 2018. This is the last one? The most recent? This is the most recent one. Oh. That's their exercise? Yeah. Michael. <laughs> I've been following your case for years and still know very little about you. Do you ever think about them, Michael? Feel guilt about their fate? <laughs> It's a part of you, Michael. Say something! There's nothing to learn. There are no new insights. I read you quoted. You don't believe in the boogeyman? I believe in Michael Myers, a deranged serial killer, but the boogeyman, no. I showed him the mask. It was nothing. No response, nothing. I mean, what, a couple people getting killed by one guy with a knife is not that big of a deal. His message is totally helpful. Even in the most yeah, right. encouraging of conditions. Did they make Jamie Lee Curtis look no, older, or did she just really not age that well? They made she her look a little older. Okay. She was in uh, Knives I Out, think, yeah. which came out the next year, and she looks younger than this. All this hiding, all this preparation, it was for nothing. I mean, it took priority over your family. I like Lori better now. I knew you would. This episode of Doomsday Preppers, Lori is preparing for a serial killer to come and kill her entire family. Oh, Lori, I feel so bad for her. Hi, hi, hi I'm, uh, I'm the grandmother. Mom, what are you doing? What is this? You know? All right, Jamie Lee. This is exactly why we don't reach out. Mom. Okay, not the time. Not good. I'm sorry. Oh. She's there because she needs some support, and this is all she has. I get it. Sorry. It's all right. We love you. We love you, Lori. It's all right. We need to get this out. It's okay. Come on. But at TGIF, I mean. <laughs> Look at me. No, it's all right. Okay, somebody go after Grandma. <laughs> somebody please get up. Ray, you? I, Should we... Uh, Cameron? You got... Yeah, anybody? I really hate to say I told you so, but... You got it. Thank you. Good. It's your granddaughter. Good for her. Fisher. On weekends, I'll do it with you, Dad. Like, I really love spending time with you, but right now, dancing is my thing, you know, and it really hits me in the heart. I mean, right. uh, Dad, look out! Oh. 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 You stay no. here. I'm going to make sure no one's No. Dad, why is that a great idea? Run! Dad! Don't shoot! Ah. Ah. Oh, fuck! Ah. I think that's the first kid he's ever killed. That's sad, man. What are we gonna do? Castle Halloween? <laughs> was that Michael? Uh, just like crossing just, the street? Just strolling in the middle of the day. 
Oof. What? His jaw is like ripped off. Oh my god. Chick, come on. No kidding. Get out of there. You guys gonna let him get killed? Come on. Well, and even if she was gonna let him, you know, be killed, at least get out of there. Oh, Dana. Oh, jeez. Oh, it looks good. Gotcha! <gasps> Jesus. You're dead. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do we? The world is not a dark and evil place. It is full of love and understanding. Well, she's a little too She deserves to die, okay? She's a little, she's a little too far otherwise. on the other side. Oh, right. I that was a call. The kid with the boombox. Uh -oh. It's a callback to Halloween 2. That was too easy, like... Oh. You don't think... I hope that's not Mrs. Elrod. A lot of this is from Halloween, too, it looks like. Using the hammer, going in there while someone's making a sandwich, Jesus. grabbing this. Except this time he's killing him. Oh, God. Does he kill a baby? Does he kill the baby? No. no. There's some pretty good pumpkin designs at this house. It's a lot of work. This is all one single shot, too, by the way. It is not cut yet. Okay, bye. Love you. I heard you telling your friends to come over here and you're going to smoke some weed. No, no. <laughs> the Alex character. Jillian, I'm talking about like a. If I had some other kind of babysitter, she'd be reading me a story. I wouldn't be up clipping my nasty ass toenail. <laughs> by the way, you're actually my favorite kid I babysit for. Oh. Yeah, I can't say I'm surprised. Oh, don't cry over him. Hey, okay, can we just talk? Okay. Don't. Okay, here, you know what? No. <gasps> oh, fuck me. I saw someone in the hallway standing outside my door. Okay, all right, come on, I got you. Let's check it out. Sit down first. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. No, it's fine. Oh. No. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, Lori. Here comes Lori. Yep. Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Take him out, Lori. Uh-oh. I'm Michael's doctor, and I'm Louis Sartain. Oh, you're the new Loomis. I want to know what pleasure he gets out of killing. What are you doing? He's sweet. Uh, Ooh, yeah, that... go for it. Mm. Ooh, yeah, go. Mm. What? Oh, no. Fuck. Uh, all these girls are like stop. dancing on yeah, me. Stop like, talking. Beautiful Break bodies it. got me all chubbed out, Allison. I, Allison, oh, please. Chubbed like... out. Guacamole. Happy Halloween, Miss Jellrod. I'm, Miss... I'm just, oh. I don't know. Oh, oh. oh. oh my god! Nobody can catch this guy. He's walking in the middle of the no road. No kidding. That's what happens in Haddonfield, Michael. That's what happens in Illinois. Yo, don't. You get run over by the police. You killed him. He's dead. No, he's not. Oh. I'm still gonna blow this motherfucker's bridge. That's right. That's how we do it in Haddonfield. Step on. Yeah! What? He's not only his doctor, but also his greatest fan. Oh my god. What what is that? A bon me sandwich. What's a, what, what is that? You <laughs> you Hold on, make it a bon me. Kind of guy Those are really good sandwiches. It sounds disgusting. I'm not going to try that. I brought my own food. Where this is, is like literally food? us having a conversation. Oh, yeah, I do want to see what you brought. Yes, you I turning down the best sandwich that. in the world. Oh, fresh brownie. Okay. Chocolatey homemade brownie. I made that myself. That's that's like what a five year old would eat if they could make their own lunch. Michael. Oh. Think he's gonna take the bond me? <laughs> Chin. You know, snack on. Oh. 
Wow. He carved his head out and put the flashlight in it. That's pretty creative, even for Michael. You know he got a little kick out of that. Like, <laughs> this is gonna look hilarious. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! I feel like Lori should have prepared for that. Right? Like that was that. a little too easy. Oh, now they know where you're at. Come on, Lori. Oh. Remember how she hid in the closet in the first one? Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> That's just right. Ah, it's fine. Jesus! Oh. Christ. Yeah, screw that. I guess she feels like that's safer oh. than. Oh, it's like. Uh, yep. Okay, Allison, all right. All right, Allison, all right. Oh, nice. No, don't they want me to get out of there? Just finished watching Halloween 2018. What did you think about it? Well, I did like it, which was a surprise. I liked it mainly because there was a lot of jumpy points. There was a lot of surprises. It was also very like gory. Like there was a couple of scenes like when he just smashed the, the doctor's head, like he stood on it. I was a little grossed out, but I like that, that they kind of pushed the boundaries with the movie. I don't understand how they can go anywhere from here. He's well, clearly dead. Well, remember they showed the little spiky things and then the fire starting, but they also went back to another shot inside where Michael was not standing on the staircase and then a further shot of the entire basement on fire and him not in it. So they never actually show him dead or his body on fire. Where could he have gone? I mean, I'm still <laughs> lost on, is this guy human or is he some kind of creature? Is he the undead? Like, what is he? Because they keep redoing continuity, there was at one point him being like cursed so he wouldn't die of normal causes. Because this continuity is different, where it's the direct sequel to one, as far as we know, he just gets shot. He gets he got sh shot several times at the end of the first Halloween, and he just seems to either not feel pain or just be totally immune to like physical harm. But even in this one, he like lost a few fingers, so he can still physically be hurt. He just doesn't seem to like react to it, or for some reason, his body just won't die. I don't know. That's kind of frustrating. I, I would like to know, you know, is he just? Is he human and he's just psycho to the point where like he's invincible almost? Or is he the undead? Like I would like to know why, like I like it to be explained and they didn't really do that. I mean, I do understand that he has some mental issues going on obviously, but I don't really know what his deal is. The recordings they use of Dr. Loomis in this one and what he said in the first one, him being just like pure, evil, not human at all, even calls him. So I don't know if there's supposed to be just some sort of understanding that you can't just like kill pure evil. Even this one, they're like, we want to inject him with some stuff and I want to watch his body burn. I guess to Dr. Loomis, he was more than just human. He was something else entirely. Even though they don't give us a black and white, okay, well he's undead or okay, he's like a supernatural being or whatever. I liked the twist with the doctor. I knew something was wrong with him though. He was a creep. I didn't know that he was quite that psychotic, but I really liked that twist. Um, I, I didn't see him doing that at all. The kid that that chick was babysitting was absolutely hilarious. Like, I feel like he was the only person that knew what was going on in this entire movie. I liked the beginning shot with the journalists going into the, the psych ward, them not showing his face. I don't think that we ever saw his face. 
No, not close throat. Up. Like I wanted to see it. I wanted to see what he looked like, but I also understand that that was part of the mystery and it, it made his character what it is. I think that if I was, I did see his face, it would lose kind of that mystery. The journalist angle, I was, I thought that was gonna carry on through the movie actually. So I was very surprised when they got killed off, but that was, that was pretty gruesome. I really liked that. Overall, I thought it was a really, really good movie. After seeing like the original one and kind of how more simplified and more simple it was, I really liked going into this where you see, and it makes sense that Lori would have this PTSD. Mm -hmm. um, I, 40 years is a long time, especially since she had had like landmark periods in her life. She had been married twice, so she had, had at some point made these uh, meaningful relationships. She had a daughter so that she would have had, she still was like so fixated on that going throughout her entire life. And um, I'm not saying like get over it or that that trauma would ever go away, but she just really held on to it. Uh, but she, I mean, even her granddaughter said, you know, she sacrificed so much of her life, you know, in order to be that paranoid. It really felt like an episode of Doomsday Preppers. You know, she had like all of her stuff and I guess she was right in the end to do all that, so. She was, I'm with Lori. Like she from the beginning was like, y'all are stupid. You know, he's gonna kill you all. I mean, that's basically what she was saying because nobody was taking it seriously. And that's a consistent thing that we see in movies. You know, they just don't get it. People, the one smart person in the movie is saying, look, this person's coming to kill us. We need to do something. And they don't listen. I assure you, if I was in that situation, somebody came up to me and said, this person's gonna kill us, we need to run. I'd be like, you're right, let me get out of here. Like, I'm not gonna sit there and argue with somebody. And she was very prepared. She knew that this day was coming. So she got everything ready, I mean, as best as she could. And um, she saved everybody in the end. She's the reason that they're alive. All right, let me know what you think of Halloween, the most recent one down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. Helps my channel out a lot. Consider subscribing if you wanna see more fun content like this. Also consider joining me on Patreon. It's a great way to get early access to select videos like this one. As always, we appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care.